Hey everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and I want to tell you guys all about this new book by one of my favorite husband-wife author duos, What's Not to Love. I am always amazed when you have two authors that write together. I read a lot of books or have started reading a lot of books recently where it, there's actually two authors and it always just blows my mind that they can write so seamlessly but i really think that austin and emily do it probably one of the best that i've seen they're a married couple a husband and wife and they actually have known each other for a very very long time cue kind of what this book is inspired by and they write together and i absolutely love their books i've read them all this is the newest one and this one came out this week it's called what's not to love and it is about a um, high school girl and guy, and they are absolute rivals in everything that has to do with school. And they're competing to you know, basically be the teacher's pets, be the best in their class and get into Harvard. And obviously it's really hard to get into Harvard. And so they think that there's only gonna be one of them that does it, so they have to beat each other out. But of course, with competition, always comes you know emotions and so this is a contemporary YA romance and I really really liked it I actually read it Penguin Teen sent me um, the digital and this hard copy so thank you Penguin Teen but I read it uh, last month and I really enjoyed it it is weird because I think a lot of Emily and Austin's books are inspired by Shakespeare so as I was reading this one, I actually was thinking about Much Ado About Nothing. And so I couldn't really pinpoint exactly which Shakespeare play this one was inspired by, but I think it's Much Ado About Nothing. It's been a while since I've read it. I read it in high school, so it, I was a sophomore. It's been some years, so forgive me if I'm wrong. <laughs> the reason why I think that is because there's like the competition and the banter and the kind of hatred between the two characters that then grow to fall in love. And the characters themselves are kind of not really likable. And I thought at first that I didn't really like the book when I was reading it because I was like, wow, I just really, they're annoying me, they're bothering me, like why are they behaving this way? And then the more I read it, I was like, duh, that's how you're supposed to feel about them. So at, once I figured out what it was based on and kind of that that was supposed to be the way it was, I flew through it and ended up really, really liking it at the end. And it was actually really cool to find out on Instagram that this book was really inspired by um, Emily and Austin's relationship in high school. They were friends, they were competitors. They actually posted pictures uh, for the release of the book earlier this week um, where they kind of showed their competition and, and who was better at certain things. So I thought it was really cool, but it's a super, super cute, super fast read. I love all of their books. Definitely don't miss this one. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to click like and subscribe below. And if you want to chat on Instagram, you can find me at the fun size reader on Facebook at the fun size reader and on Twitter at fun size reader. See you next time.